In this video, I'm going to show you how scheduling your days off is an effective way of running a schedule. Everybody is concerned. We have a schedule here where they work um, three shifts, so day, evening, and, and night. And everybody is concerned that everybody gets the same number of shifts of each one. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I schedule the days off. These people work six and three. And so I'm running, I'm clicking the run the schedule button and it's, it's attached to my macro days off. So let's click on the run schedule. And there you see all my days off. Now we've got the six and three, so everybody gets equal days off on all the weekends and everything else. And so now let's add the schedules. So I'm going to my macros. I'm going to my, so I ran days off and now I'm going to go, I'm going to run add shifts and I'm going to click run. And there you have all our shifts. Now, the minimum they can have on any of the shifts is four, and so we've maintained that. It's eight people. Um, there's 24 people in the in the employed there, and eight people get every day off. So the other thing I want to show you that is that every person on the shift right works 12 nights, 12 evenings, and 12 days. So everybody should be happy. So now let me show you the code. So the first piece of code I'm showing you is sub auto shifts and I've got I as an integer, Y as an integer, I being the row and Y being the column and count um, C and T as an integer for the count so we can count how many times to do this. And so um, for I equals one, so the first bunch of these here, what we're going to do is we're using Y as one. And so, so we're going here and then um, for the next set, we're doing Y is four, so we count over four, and that's where we want the next set to start. And the third set, we're gonna count from seven, so the column seven is where we want it to start. Now, um, I'm calling another program in here. My programming teachers would be happy because I'm doing small little pieces. Um, so I'm calling days off, and so active cell offset zero one, so when it's on here, then it goes to here, and then it's making that zero, and then it's making the next one zero, and the third one zero. And then um, because we're doing six and three, it counts over nine and does it all over again. And now it's repeating itself um, six times to get to the end of the schedule. So that, that puts in our days off. And so the next piece of the schedule is add shifts and then I'm just saying um, on each of these rows, go for the first two rows and you're going to go here and start with nights for two weeks and evenings and days. And the second set from eight to 10, you're going to go um, uh, evenings, days, nights. And so basically I have made sure that all of the shifts are covered by doing this and that all of the, the people are equal. So that's how I have balanced the schedule, making sure that the days off go first. I will, of course, include the, the code in the description of this video. Please subscribe. If you're interested in, in this, I have uh, an introduction to VBA course that I will have the link on in the description of this video as well.